it will be the start of a bumper weekend for motor racing as the Monaco Grand Prix gets underway. So let's have a preview, the first of three previews for three big races that are happening this weekend. And yes, the Monaco Grand Prix is the first of three. It's then followed up by the Indianapolis 500 and the Coca-Cola 600. My previews for the Coke 600 will happen tomorrow and then the Indy 500 on Saturday. The reason being is because qualifying's already happened for Indy. It hasn't happened for the Coke 600 yet and that will happen on the Saturday. So, Monaco, the Principality. I released this on the Wednesday because, well, traditionally, F1 would have its practice on the Thursday because Thursday is part of the weekend in Monaco, in the Principality. But... That's not been the case now for the past few years, and in fact, since uh, the famous Lance Stroll incident with the TV direction, neither is the TV direction controlled by the ACM either. It's all controlled by FOM. That means you could expect Friday afternoon for practice 1 and practice 2, uh, Saturday early afternoon, practice 3, qualifying uh, going towards the early evening, and then a race 3pm UK time for the Monaco Grand Prix. The one race in the F1 calendar where it's not over 305 kilometers. In addition to F1 this weekend, we see F2, F3 and the Porsche Super Cup going around the streets of the Principality. And, well, those can all provide entertaining action. It's not the most entertaining action at Monaco. I still believe that that would be the case for the Formula E and the Monaco e Prix. That tends to be something that produces a lot more action and a lot closer racing, though I can't recommend this season's one because I haven't watched it because they put it behind a paywall. But the Monaco Grand Prix is the one where the race is essentially won on the Saturday. Barring any kind of incidents, the Pulse City usually is the first car into turn one, usually is the first car where the checker flag falls at the end of the race. So, would it be another win for Max Verstappen? Or will it be another one of the drivers for whom Monaco is a home race? Because so many of them live in Monaco for the tax reasons. Will the actual hometown hero, the actually registered as Monegasque driver, perform well? Charles Leclerc, he has a bit of a curse around here. Though, arguably that was one that was broken. When two seasons ago he managed to finish fourth. And then last season he finished sixth. That said, he hasn't got on a podium at home, but it is better than previous attempts, such as 2021, where he didn't start. Or 2019, the previous one, where he didn't finish. Or 2018, where he also, well, he was classified that time, but didn't finish. We'll have to wait to see what lies Charles Leclerc in his hometown, but it could easily go his way, though... Judging by the fact that his teammate has won two races since he last won a race in Austria in 2022, I'm not, you know, going to be riding on that hope. Instead, I will say it's more likely that we're going to have some kind of controversy in qualifying. Think about Michael Schumacher back in, what, 2006? Or Nico Rosberg, I think that was 2016. Or Sergio Perez last year. There's every chance that you have a driver spin or stop in qualifying and they bring out a red flag. That is something that is surprisingly common at the Monaco Grand Prix. What's also very unique for this circuit, the circuit that is the shortest of the F1 calendar and is pretty much mandated to have that shortness by the FIA. It's mandated as the shortest track on the calendar, more or less is the fact that all the support races aren't in the main paddock. So you'll see some people having to take a long old drive to the pit lane for the start of, well, any of the support races. Anyways, since they've recently done some developments in the Principality, uh, largely just renovations in the kind of way, it's why the WRC had to move back to Gap for this season as a service park. Let me know your thoughts and any kind of predictions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.